The previous video covered important federal laws for students with disabilities. This video will cover two California laws that focus on deaf students. The first is Assembly Bill 1836, also known as the Deaf Children's Bill of Rights. Passed in 2004 by Governor Schwarzenegger, this law recognized several things. 1. Educators must place deaf students in an educational environment that respects and uses their preferred language or mode of communication. 2. Deaf students must be able to have regular contact with deaf peers, teachers, and other professionals. And 3. Deaf students must be able to participate in school programs, functions, extracurricular activities, sports, etc. In addition, the law included how the IEP team must consider additional information based on the previous elements. 1. Does the deaf student have sufficient numbers of similar schoolmates in age, language, and learning ability? 2. Are the teachers and other professionals working with deaf students qualified, skilled, in the language or communication method the student uses? And three, are the critical elements of the educational programs, such as academic instruction, school services, and extracurricular activities, available in the deaf student's language or communication mode? This law was a significant milestone in passing laws to improve the educational experience for deaf students. The next major milestone would be Senate Bill 210. This law mandated the California Department of Education's Deaf and Hard of Hearing Unit to work with California School for the Deaf Fremont and California School for the Deaf Riverside to create benchmarks for monitoring and tracking the progress of deaf children from birth to age 5. The measures would assess and determine the child's expressive and receptive language acquisition and their development toward literacy. Next, the law required an advisory committee to provide progress reports of the child's language acquisition and literacy development. Then, if the child is not meeting the specified language benchmarks, the committee is to make recommendations with the goal of the deaf child becoming linguistically age-appropriate. Lastly, it also mandated the State Department to develop specific action plans and regulations to fully implement the Language Benchmark Assessment Protocol and processes by July 2017. This law is rooted in research on language acquisition, the process of infants learning their first language. Babies must be exposed to language as young as possible to begin their journey of learning language. In the next video, we will learn about language acquisition and, in subsequent videos, the importance of it.